So this week, something came up on Twitter, and it's something I really wanted to talk about, which is the watering down of the big game franchises that are around today, and some that have been around for more than a decade. These game franchises following trends and trying to appeal to a mass audience. There is a real issue with that, a real issue with that, including the franchise that many people know me for, Assassin's Creed. It includes, to me, Call of Duty, it includes Halo, so many before it, and it's this following of trends. But the reason it came up was from a Twitch streamer. Um, what's his name? Asman Gold. Asman Gold. So Asman Gold. I don't know this person. You said you just said you you know who that yes, is. Yes, Asman Gold, the bald man. Yeah, for sure. He's he is known for World of Warcraft. He's been playing since the very 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 early days, over a decade, over a decade of gaming, more than maybe twelve years of gaming. I think um, twelve to fifteen years of, of playing World of Warcraft, which is a game that I I personally love. Um, and uh, but he also has just been around the game for so long, seen so many games come and go, and he's been on streaming and twitch for for quite a long time and he provides um incredible he's he's he's, he's a, a gaming um philosopher in, in many ways um That's and so provi- funny yeah and so, so yeah. he got a lot of heat for this for this no take. not for this clip he oh. redeemed himself with this clip he got a lot of heat from assassin's creed purists because he was streaming assassin's creed valhalla and he g- talked about how he hates stealth games and he's just like no no stealth we raid this bitch with the boys or something like that he's yeah. all that like like and he just went viral and everyone's like oh god this is like yeah. these are the people playing assassin's creed now like yeah. these are the types of people playing assassin's creed now and so it's just like oh god but then he comes back months later with this clip david could you play this um this clip for me and it was posted reposted by um a, a friend of mine dylan to rule um on twitter so shout there out there we go uh the ultimate the ultimate fact is that you have so many of these gaming companies and these gaming, uh, th- these gaming like groups that are making these decisions based off of uh, money. It's it's very transparently money. You you have something like Assassin's Creed, and so Assassin's Creed Valhalla is a great example of this. How the fuck are you a How the fuck are you an assassin whenever you're a Viking? Like I'm sorry, but these two things don't really fit together. 100%. Like yes, obviously, in, in like you know, like history, to some degree, this was the case, but it just doesn't really. Like you watch the the trailer for Assassin's Creed, and you think to yourself, like, when do you think assassin in that trailer? Yeah. Whenever they're on the massive battlefield and the guy's cutting off basically the fucking version of the English is the mountain. You know, he's like cutting him up. No, like it, it's just bullshit. And like, so the games nowadays are being watered down. And I want to say this, right? I don't want Assassin's Creed Valhalla to appeal to me because I don't like stealth games and assassin games. So if Assassin's Creed appeals to me, that means it is no longer Assassin's Creed. And I think that it's good that there are games that I don't like and other people do like. Does that make sense? Because that means that each game is being developed and made for a different person. And they're not being watered down to have a minimal milk toast mass appeal. And I think that's what's happened. That's def- Mm. How's that, man? There's a lot he says in that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of important important quotes. One being, one big one that I really enjoyed and I liked about it. and, And I think people forget that. It's like, it's okay, it, you, like, I like that there's games I don't like. Mm. I like that there's games that don't appeal to me. It means there's a variety of content available out there. From your first-person shooters, to your fucking stealth games, to your real-time strategies. But then even in those genres, there doesn't need to be any crossover. You can have a fucking first-person shooter zombie game. I like first-person shooters. I'm not playing a first-person sh- shooter zombie game. I'm not into zombie. I fucking hate zombie games. And when you play Assassin's Creed, it used to be about you're playing as an assassin. It's a stealth game. You're assassinating people. Hiding in a crowd. Trying to kill someone without getting detected. Without being seen like a hitman. You know, Splinter Cell. Those stealth games. That's what Assassin's Creed was. And now, what they've wanted to do is they see a market with these massive RPGs. With these live service games that exist for long periods of time and they can't do it with a stealth story game so they're like how do we make it this 
big RPG we can do events for and bring people back and they're paying for microtransactions and there's all these different things to add in. Like, how do you do that? And what that mindset is, is the video game landscape, the audience that buys games has grown so much over the last decade, to f decade and a half, that there's so much money on the table. And these games are costing more. They need to make more money. And they realize how much money can be made because you have those viral games like a Fortnite and a Minecraft of the past 10 years, the Call of Duties, and they're like, oh, wow, th that many people can buy one game? That's unbelievable. How do we make our game sell that much? And that's a wrong mindset. Make your game for your audience. Your audience will grow naturally. But then they've tried to jump on, instead of, for example, and we're focusing on Assassin's Creed right now, jump on the back of other franchises. Assassin's Creed 2 and 1 were revolutionary. Games copied them. Those open world sandbox games, they copied their style of open world game. And then it was also being an assassin self game in amongst the gameplay. That's what you were doing. And now they've seen a Horizon Zero Dawn, they've seen a Witcher 3, they've seen all these games, and they're like, we're going to jump on the back of that. But then they also see like a Destiny, and they're like, wait, that's a live service. We're going to keep bringing DLCs out. We're going to keep doing this. Because you didn't see the Witcher 3 do that. They gave away free DLC. Horizon had one story expansion pack. What Assassin's Creed is doing is trying to do anything they can to sell to the most people possible and keep people around and have money coming in constantly. And they're calling that the future of Assassin's Creed. This is no, Assassin's Creed's just developing. It's just growing. No, it's not. It's watering down. If you like Assassin's Creed now and you don't like the old Assassin's Creed games, you don't like Assassin's Creed. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. And I have these people in the comments say, Oh man, there's people that love the old games, but no, I'm a fan of... Assassin's Creed's way better now. I hate it back then. You don't like Assassin's Creed. You are not an Assassin's Creed fan because that's not what Assassin's Creed is. And we know Assassin's Creed hasn't been Assassin's Creed for a long time, and I'm not here to worry... I don't give a fuck about that anymore, about its identity. What I'm talking about is the simple fact that there's people out there that legitimately believe that Assassin's Creed has developed into this. Naturally. Like, this was the natural progression a stealth game is meant to go in where you're just a viking never playing as an assassin never doing anything stealthy going in a battlefield and massacring people and then you're getting all these microtransactions with fucking horse mounts that can fly and shit and shit rainbows are you fucking kidding me that's not the natural progression that's money grubbing and anyone that buys into that is fine you're allowed to but don't pretend it's anything but what it is, which is you're buying into watered-down mass appeal. That's all you're doing, and that's fine, but don't try to fucking tell me it's anything else other than that. Because that's insane that people try to tell me how, oh, no, I'm the current Assassin's Creed fan, and it just, I feel like it just progressed and everything. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. It's fine that you like watered down games for mass appeal. That's okay. Just fucking admit it. Don't pretend there's anything revolutionary about what they're doing because there's nothing in Assassin's Creed Valhalla or Odyssey that's revolutionary. It's copying everyone else and watering down for mass appeal to sell as much as you can sell, to make as much money as you can, and forget about where you came from. And like this guy said, Assassin's Creed shouldn't appeal to him because he doesn't like stealth games. Do you know why it appeals to him? Do you know why I played Valhalla? Because it's not Assassin's Creed. It's something else. And so many games are doing it. It's not just Assassin's Creed doing it. They're just the one I know best. And fucking uh, definitely top of the list in terms of culprits for it. But look how many first person shooters tried to make these battle royale modes after Fortnite blew up. You know what I mean? Like that's not the natural progression of Call of Duty and Halo. That's you watering down your games for mass appeal. That's all you're trying to do. It's fine you're doing it, but let's not pretend it's anything else. You know? I'm just over it. I'm just over pretending like we're naturally progressing this way. Everyone is just trying to sell their big name title franchises that aren't anything like what got them to the dance anymore anyway. Call of Duty and Halo are nothing like they used to be. Even though they're first-person shooters, they have the there's a bit of a trick to it to make you think they're similar, but they're not. Assassin's Creed's so easily visible that it's nothing like it used to be because of its inherent game genre. But Halo's nothing like it used to be. Call of Duty's nothing like it used to be. Even Battlefield. 
they're just trying to fit into everyone else for mass because they see money on the table because they're trying to sell more they're not trying to be themselves they're not trying to revolutionize things they're not trying to come up with original ideas to you know compete against other things and to be their own corner they're just trying to do what everyone else is doing so they keep bringing in money and you know what if you want to do that, it's fine. It's fucked to me and I don't want any fucking part of it. And anyone that partakes in it, you're allowed to. But don't pretend you're doing anything else but buying in to watered down bullshit. It's always the way, isn't it, man? It's, um, dude, Odyssey, Valhalla, they're like season five and six of Community. Dude, you know? we're just watching, yeah, Community after. They're like season, they're like season eight and nine of The Office. <sighs> There's just something about it that just goes, this isn't, this isn't what I. This isn't what I love. Yeah. You know, if you make a game for everyone, you make a game for no one. Yeah, hundred you know? percent, and that's what's happening. It's like they took Valhalla and they just they could have released a game called Valhalla. Yeah. By itself, but they just had to slap Assassin's Creed but, on there. But even then, man, it's still a shit game. Same yeah. with Odyssey. Like you could have called it Odyssey and Assassin's Creed. Story. It's still shit. It's still a shit game yeah. because they don't do anything in those games that are inherently revolutionary or exciting. They just do what everyone else is doing and copy and paste shit all over the map, the same mediocre task with fucking dumb as fuck NPCs, glitches galore, and all you do is do this fucking watered-down combat system of hack and slash, but not even in an exciting and cool way, and just put it all over the map and paste hundreds of hours of content and pretend it's worth our money. It's not worth our fucking money. It's not worth our fucking time. It's fucking bullshit. And it's just average content that no one's necessarily going to hate it kind of appeals to everyone on some level it's mm. no one's favourite game and if it's your favourite game I fucking feel sorry for you you haven't played that much <laughs> shit holy fuck you know what I mean like it's just a bunch of averageness that they paste hundreds of hours on that everyone can be like that's okay but I'm like no I'm fucking over it I'm just over it Tyler I have a, I have a question what's your question so with the decline, I'm sweating. I the, got that angry. Yeah, I could feel it. Yeah. Um, with the decline, you know, happening, you know, let's say, I mean, um, if you agree, after yeah. Black Flag, yeah, the major decline of Assassin's Creed, yeah. Um, what would you say if you had were on the production team, the yeah. writing team of Assassin's Creed, yeah? Um, do you have a rough outline of the direction you would have 100%. taken Assassin's 100%. Creed in order to it keep its integrity of and course. also interest? Can would there would there be a moment where you would say yeah. we can't make any more games? Um, I mean, games. we're at the moment now. They they need to stop. Yeah. It's too because there's nothing you can do to fix it now. It's over. Like it's literally over. I will never. I don't care. There's everyone keeps saying, would you play the next game if it was everything you wanted? Yeah, but I don't want anything anymore. Mm. Like I just don't want anything anymore. And even then, we've been saying that for years, but what if the next game, what if the next game... And it never is. It's never the case because it's never going to be because it's over. But I don't want anything anymore. So post-Black Flag, if, but, but, yeah. but post-Black Flag, what would you have done? What would you have done? Okay, I think Unity was the right follow-up to Black Flag, um, but it came out two years too early. And what I mean by that is it was not ready to release. A lot of great concept. I mean, the script, the story script needed to be totally redone, obviously. Um but in terms of the setting and the gameplay mechanics and their, their ideas behind it, it had nailed Assassin Fantasy in a lot of ways. It was just a glitchy fucking piece of shit mess and a rush story. Give that two more years of development and have one team working on Assassin's Creed and that's it and come up with an Assassin's Creed game every three to four years. That's all you got to do. That's what I would have done. And then focus on developing the franchise in an ongoing narrative that connects a modern day with other ancestor storylines that link together and that matters and from you play the next game to the next game it actually matters that you've that you've played the one before it and you try new things that only Assassin's Creed can do to make it unique and its own but instead they had this concept in Unity that was really good but failed miserably because the game doesn't fucking work and the story was so rushed that the story structure is also shit and the best moments in the story happen halfway through and then the whole second half is fucking bullshit and then, because that didn't work, you was have to like, no, we've got to totally redo Assassin's Creed. The issue wasn't that it was rushed. The issue is that, that, that people just don't like assassins, so let's make fucking a, par a Monty Python Assassin's Creed game in Syndicate, which is a pile of dicks. And then let's make Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla in RPGs for Mass Effect. It's... Unity was the worst thing that ever happened to Assassin's Creed, not because it... 
its concept was bad, but because it was executed so fucking poorly, because of upper management, and upper management didn't want to take any fucking responsibility, they blamed the fucking developers, and fired developers, and took no responsibility themselves, and then they're the reason, they've then made the decision, like, no, we've got to, we've got to make these, it's just fucking bullshit, man. It's over. It's already over. I'm just saying, it, I saw that clip on Twitter this week, and I just was like, I have to talk about this. I have to talk about it. Because it's fine if you like Watered Down shit, but stop pretending it's anything else. That's all I'm saying.